Now, my problem with Obi is that when he was governor in Anambra State, you know, I mean, he and I had a very um, testy relationship, you know, and I've, I wrote quite a bit about him. I faulted Obi for a certain cult of personality, okay? That Obi is extremely self-referential and it's not a good thing in a leader. A leader should be able to identify men and women who have gifts that he's then going to delegate uh, uh, challenges to, okay? When a leader presumes to know everything, that's actually a witness. That's one. Obi also tends to overpromise. And Obi tends to... So, you know, so Nigeria's problems are so deep and so fundamental and vast. So when you begin to give the impression that if you are made president, you'll solve everything, um, then I would say pause for a minute, Okay. You cannot solve everything. Nigeria doesn't have the money. I don't think the international community has the stomach to lend us the money. So it's going to be a lot of doing. Maybe if he became president, it, he would take the first one year trying to just stop the bleed. Okay, because somebody who is a, a military officer in Nigeria told me that about 75% of the country's oil. Uh, exploration is stolen so by private individuals again that's not a country that's part of why i say we don't rush into an election when if a country is, if even if people were able to steal one percent of nigeria's oil production that's a big crisis but when it is more than half of a country's resources that's stolen it, 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 don't pretend we have a country there's no country there right so to go back, to get back to Obi, another problem I have with Obi is what I call the self-inflicted hypocritical wound, okay? When people don't ask you certain things, don't go stating things which may turn out upon scrutiny not to be true, okay? So famously, a few years ago, Obi claimed that he had only he owned only one wristwatch. And so Nigerians went out there and found pictures of him wearing several wristwatches. Okay? So such things. Okay? He was a wealthy businessman before he became governor. So it would be fine and expected if he owned several wristwatches. So when you come out and want to create an impression of uh, being ascetic, and being self-disciplined and restrained, and you tell a fib, then people will begin to wonder, if you're lying to us about owning one wristwatch, what else are you lying to us about? So I would say to him not to hug the microphone so much, not to be there speaking so much, to actually create a network of people who would work for him begin to appoint advisors in different areas and some questions that are asked of you say go to this my go-to man that's who i have asked to look at the question of how to industrialize nigeria go to this other person that's who i have asked to begin to think about how to reform the educational sector don't be the one doing everything because when you do it you have a promise you get into fibs into falsehood you get into unnecessary unforced errors and um so so but having said all of this i think that clearly of the three major candidates tinubu atiku and obi i think that obi is the more the most exciting of the three right and i think that there, we see that excitement on the internet whether it's going to translate. I was just in London and I was talking to some Nigerians that, you know, who came in from Nigeria for the Cain Prize that I went to, uh, to hand out to, 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 to the winner. And uh, so there were a group of young people. In fact, two of them are lecturers who came from Nigeria and then uh, another person. 
So we were talking about the phenomenon around Obi, and I was wondering whether there was something real about it or whether it was just an internet phenomenon. And they assured me that a lot of young people are indeed going to get their voters' cards and uh, with the intention of voting for Obi and of defending the vote. So maybe Obi will spring a surprise, perhaps. Uh, but in order to do that, he has to defeat the monster of his own flaws, uh, you know, and also the monster of ethnicity and religion and so on. 